Okay, so it's 7 in the morning, you're tired, need to get to work, so you quickly opt for either no breakfast or something non-nutritious. Nothing wrong with that, but these freezer burritos are healthier, cheaper, tastier, and only take 2 minutes to heat up each morning, accommodating your time crunch without sacrificing nutritiousness. So let's jump in on how to make it. We'll start with 454 grams or 1 pound of 93.7 ground turkey. To that, we're going to add 1 packet of chorizo seasoning, and alternatively, you could, instead of buying the packet, make your own chorizo seasoning, but I find that to be too much work. I think it's much easier just buying the packet, which you can find at really most grocery stores and certainly online. Then once mixed well and all the seasoning is evenly distributed, we'll place the turkey in an oiled skillet set over medium high heat to let sear. And once a nice crust starts to develop at the bottom of the turkey, I'm gonna use my favorite tool here, the potato masher, to break the turkey up into small pieces. And when we're done breaking it all up, we'll let that finish cooking. And once done, we'll place this off to the side and get on with our egg filling. Before we cook our eggs, we'll start with 150 grams of sliced yellow onion, or diced if you want that instead, and then another 150 grams of green bell pepper. We'll let that develop some color and caramelize nicely, and once it does, we'll go in with 15 grams of sliced jalapeno, for which I removed the seeds. You're welcome to keep the seeds in though if you want the extra heat. Now we'll let that sear as well and soften up, and once we're there, we can go in with 550 grams of egg whites, for which we'll then hit with one tablespoon of salt and one tablespoon of black pepper. I'm gonna turn my heat to medium low to avoid overcooking the eggs, and then we'll continuously stir the eggs until they're cooked. Finally, we'll add in 70 grams of a Mexican blend cheese, and then one diced Roma tomato. We'll fold that in and give it a good stir to make sure it's all well incorporated, and once we're there, we can place this off to the side with our ground turkey. Finally, we're gonna make a quick potato filling. We'll start with 650 grams of Yukon Gold potatoes, which is roughly three large ones or four smaller ones. We'll peel each one of these and then chop them up into small bite-sized pizzas. And once we're there, we'll add them into a pot of boiling water and let cook until the potatoes are softer, but not mush. We want the potatoes to still have a decent amount of firmness when we drain them. Once the potatoes are where we want them, we can go ahead and drain them off. And you can either put them on a sheet tray and bake in an oven, but I'm gonna put mine in my air fryer basket. We'll hit this with some oil, two teaspoons of salt, two teaspoons of black pepper, one teaspoon of garlic powder, and then one teaspoon of smoked paprika. Then we'll put them in an oven or air fryer set at 450 degrees Fahrenheit until the potatoes are cooked through and have developed some nice color. And once they're done, we'll transfer them over to a mixing bowl. Now we can get on with assembling our burritos. Very simply, we're gonna take a flour tortilla and we're using the La Tortilla Factory brand, which has a much better macro profile. And then we'll add in our egg filling, then our potatoes, and then we'll top that off with our turkey. We'll give that a good wrap and once we have it where we like it, we can transfer that over onto aluminum foil for our final wrap. And just like that, you have five quickly prepped breakfast burritos that'll save you time and money. And you'll likely be heading to work more energized because who the heck isn't happy after eating a burrito? Simply store these burritos in your freezer and when you're ready to eat them, unwrap them from the foil and place in a microwave for roughly two minutes or so to warm up. Per usual, here's the macro and ingredient overview, all of which can be found in the description as well as on our website, which is linked in the description as well. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this burrito recipe. We look forward to sharing more recipes ahead.